Uh, sand's kind of bad, right? Yeah, sand sucks. Sand's worse. Come on, man. Sure, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Hammer time, fun. Mm -mm -mm. So I guess Yorion wasn't the reason I hated this format all along, huh? Live another day. I guess. I'll play a 4-4. I feel like this deck would be better with a companion. What about your... Your Ganta? I think you're talking about everybody's favorite card, Your Ganta. Is Yorian ban changing a lot in the format? I don't think so. Which kind of reassures me that I probably still don't want to play this format anymore. <laughs> I think I have uh, officially determined that I still don't really enjoy playing this format. Mm. Okay, let's play Misty, go to combat. I'm gonna attack with Territorial Kavu. Loot away the Mesa. Not terrible. I think I'm actually just gonna pass. I could fetch to deal one extra point. But I might be in a position where I want to fetch an Overgrown Tomb untapped to play one of my 1 mana spells and pay for 2 Sentinels. That's why I don't want to do this now. Okay, they're drawing a card with Lantern. I think I should probably kill the Foundry now. And I'm going to pay 2 life so I don't get the draw card. Oh wait, I could have just fetched a tapped... Yeah, I could have just fetched a tapped Triumph, right? But then I can't pay for both. Yeah, I think it's better to pay for both. <clears throat> it's the Mario Party 1 ban. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really going to change that much. Yeah, we can play Giganta in this deck. You probably should play Giganta in this deck. There's really no reason not to, to be honest with you. <clears throat> yeah, I said that on Twitter, too. I, I like specifically said that I think 4-Color might arguably be better without Yorion because you're drawing Ren and 6 more often. And a lot of people didn't really understand what I was saying, but I think it makes sense. Like, Ren and Six is and always has been the best card in the deck. So when you draw the best card in the deck more often... Admiral Chop, I would take a look on Twitter at Mason Clark. I think Mason posted a list, a 60-card list, earlier today, like after the ban announcement. I, they're, they are very, very good at 4-color. Um, I don't play 4-color, so I can't really recommend you... Like, a, I don't have a list that I would give you, but I would recommend taking a look at Mason. <clears throat> In regards to not liking Wild the Cattle, is Death Shadow possibly better? Mm, it's kind of hard to set up Death Shadow. Go, I guess. I saw Daryl post the list inside for four color. Was it 60 cards? Daryl's another good resource. He also said he was retarding the deck. Oh, really? Oh, uh, okay. So a, a little bit of, a little bit of different, differing opinions, huh? In its current form, yeah, you definitely have to rebuild it for sure. Pass me by. Fishing F six. Ah. All right, blue-white artifacts and stuff. I guess Consume Soul is pretty good against them. Maybe. Destructive Revelry. Uh, I don't even know what's bad against them. I'm going to cut the Nicodles again, I think. Although Nicodles a green card for Force of Vigor. I don't think I cut Ragavan. Maybe Stub is bad. Is Binding the card I potentially cut, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. All these cards seem pretty good. 
I like Scion to dodge part of a hole. Teferi to fight over potential metallic rebukes and stuff like that. The Shobar Brawler might be my worst card. My worst threat. Stud didn't seem good that game, but they didn't play 8 on 2. Well, they're not playing Hammer Time. They're playing a more, like, a slightly bigger version of Blue White Artifacts, where they have, like, Thopter Foundry, Urza, that kind of stuff. But <laughs> 67 is fine, too. I think maybe on the play I can cut Stub. Like, on the play, Teferi's better. On the draw, I might cut Teferi, if that makes sense. I think I'm just going to end up cutting the Coddles. Not sure if that's right, but... It's been, like, a miser Stub. <coughs> Do you think blue white control gets better with Yorian out of the format? Yeah, that is possible. Like blue white control definitely had a, t a tough time against the four color deck because of the inevitability of the late game. So yeah, I could see that. I could see I could see blue white control getting a lot better. Kasali mm -mm -mm. ambusher. I hate that card so much. I don't know why people play it. it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Alright, Metal Play Scion, I know it's less damage, but it's better if they have Portable Hole. I guess maybe leading on Kavu to incentivize Portable Hole makes my hate at Sugu better. That could be a, an argument, you know, a consideration to think about, but... Genius Smith. <clears throat> they reveal nothing. Nice card. I'm not going to cast Force yet. Ooh, I do think I want to cast that card, though. Two mana, Stone Rain, take two. Pretty, pretty pog. Your move. Just the old Stone Rain, take two. No big deal. Pretty good card. Stone Rain, I mean, sinkhole. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Yeah, we call that Molten Rain. I guess Molten Rain is a probably a more accurate depiction. Alright, fine. We can call it Molten Rain. We can call it Molten Rain. How do they beat the Scion? Can they? I'm gonna play... Oh, I should have left that Binding, but... I was gonna say, I'm gonna play Scion... I'm gonna play Scion to make them play off curve, because then I can hold up Binding, but I just tapped the wrong land. Although, I guess... Yeah, no. I couldn't do that. I needed a green source. This should have been, like, Temple Garden, maybe? Because then I could have tapped Temple Garden, Steam Vents, play this, hold up Binding. Yeah, so I guess I just fetched the wrong land. <clears throat> How we talked about earlier, where the <laughs> the fetching in this deck is kind of awkward sometimes. Molten Sinkle. Molten Stone Sink. Molten Stone. So they're not making a token with that. They're holding up the counterspell, though. Metallic Rebuke. Okay. So now I can go attack for four. Play Shockland. Because I have Binding plus Pay 3 for Rebuke. And or Hardcast Force of Vigor. Or just Double Binding, maybe. Depending on what they do, obviously. Stinkle. <laughs> Stinkle, huh? They're making a token. Well, I guess if they're going to make a token, then I'll just start guest force while they're while they're tapped out. So I don't want them playing a land and holding up uh, Metallic Rebuke. They probably run Dispatch. Yeah, they probably have Dispatch in their deck. That is a card they could play. What's my opinion of the bands? I think they're decent. I just think that it's it's a start. I think that's that's where I'm going to leave it. It is a start. I don't think it is necessarily... It Basically, there needs to be a little bit more. If, you know, kind of what I'm getting at. I think Ren and Six should be gone, personally. Oh, I shouldn't even show them the Hidetsugus, right? I should just bolt them. <laughs> Why would I show them Hidetsugus? Why would I show them Hidetsugus? I wanted the style on them, but, you know. Alright, game three. Stub is even worse on the draw, so I don't think I want these stubs. I think my sideboarding kind of makes sense. <clears throat> I guess it's possible I want to cut Teferi and bring in Nakata on the draw. 
Like, do you guys think Teferi's too slow? Could be. Got the stub for the fourth Nicotta. Let's try that. I have no blue cards in my deck. <laughs> Literal zero blue cards. Nice. I personally think Pioneer's fine. I think Pioneer's in a in a somewhat decent spot. But again, they, they also kind of want to just let it... They, they want to let it play out with uh, the RC and all that stuff. See how the RC shakes out. Okay, so what's our fetching like this game? Temple Garden, Steam Vents, Overgrown Tomb. So this gets Temple Garden. Manipulate the messes again. Or they play Saga and I just fire off Revelry on turn two. Ingenious Smith. I think I can't pass up firing up Revelry. Because then I can just go turn three, play this with Binding Up. Got a Sentinel. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, baby. <clears throat> Let's go Steam Vents. Kill this thing. Good luck. Yeah, the RC is the third weekend of November. Yeah, the other awkward part about banning a card in Pioneer, or potentially unbanning, but changing the format of Pioneer right now with everybody testing for the RC is really awkward. So I think one of two things is going to happen. Even if they decide that they will, even if they want to ban something in Pioneer, which, you know, maybe they maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't, uh, they're going to at least wait until the RC is over and potentially wait until Season 2 is over as well. But it's awkward because these seasons kind of happen like right next to each other so even if they wait until season two is over it's like season three is going to start the next week anyway so it, it'll be tough to see how they manage that yeah the fact that they're man like it's going to be really hard to get cards from brothers war for that tournament right attacking with smith okay season two promos are so bad kind of agree yeah all right so now we just go fetch overgrown tomb i mean do i even respect that they have Cauldra. I mean, I guess if they have Cauldra, I can just binding it, right? So we'll just go attack for three, play Brawler. Yeah, but I want to hold up the, I want to hold up the binding. So we'll do it this way. <clears throat> Brothers War is early release on all WPN stores, so at least a week of available cards. I don't, I thought it was the same weekend. Was it not? I could have sworn it was the same weekend. I need help. I want to try an Esper reanimator deck, but splashing triumphs for domain with land bending and shadow prophecy. Do you know about the best combo for that? Also, should be, it be cool with casting land bending for two and be looking at four off shadow prophecy. I mean, if you're gonna play binding and prophecy, you should be making it so that card. The, you should be maximizing those cards 100. percent I mean, if if that entails just playing one, you know, one triumph, then that's probably fine. But you should you should be maximizing those cards 100. percent Okay, I'm not going to cast a spell into the Sentinel. We'll just untap. It's not actually that good. Attacks. <clears throat> okay, resolves. Sword of the Meat. So they want to trade for Nakatl. What if I go Binding Your Smith? Don't pay for Sentinel. Kind of like that. Give myself the option of casting Trapple Flames. Maybe this is too obvious. It's like, why else would I not pay? But am I that upset if they chump block the Wild Nakatl? Probably not. Like, they're probably still in a horrible spot even if they chump block. Yeah, we could just have another two drop. All right, yeah, they just don't even play around it. They probably can't afford to, to be honest with you. All right, 2-0, oh, let's go. Let's stay at Force. I don't think their deck usually plays Force, yeah. All right, or one to know. Sorry, that was. Oh yeah, that was round one. We didn't play the first league. This is this was our first league, right? God, these hands just look like so blah. Four lands is kind of tough. Like we have decent interaction, but I think this is just too many lands. This is like a, a full full house. Ah yes, basic plains territorial Kavu, my favorite combination. <laughs> ah yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thinking about keeping this hand. Just really hoping to draw a fetch land. All right, this is going to look really weird, chat, but I'm going to keep it. I actually kind of want to put back planes. I don't think the planes does anything for me at all. 
I think putting back planes makes a lot of sense. I think I'm just not going to fetch. <laughs> Scrybug. Scrybug. Right, exactly. We need to draw well to win from five anyways. 100% agreed. That is not drawing well. It's okay. We're on five anyway. It's probably weren't gonna win, even on a even on like a good five. Stubbing the shit out of that. Land. Damn it. So close. That's probably the last turn that we had. It's an Omnath strategy, perhaps? Oh boy, I heckin' love Omnath. Oh boy, I heckin' love Omnath. I just have to kill it, right? I think I'm gonna kill it with Tribal Flames. I don't know, I could Binding and try to save the Tribal Flames. They're at 13. Let's actually just cast Binding. It's awkward because, like... If they have Besajo, I lose the game, but it's higher upside. Is the ban up yet? Yeah, it should be. It was effective immediately, so. I just have another Omnath. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm off it. You went, I don't even care. <laughs> oh, look, four color is still just as miserable as ever. Who could have seen this coming? It's almost like they banned the wrong card. I'm falling apart. Just gonna trim bolts, I think. <laughs> yeah, it sure is easier to shuffle, huh? <laughs> what I think will be the best deck in modern now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, not much has changed. Creativity was arguably probably the best deck already, and creativity is certainly still going to be if one of, if not the best decks. I honestly think four color gets better. Yeah, this hand's good. I don't want to lead on to Coddle. Eh, it's lower upside. Let's just go high upside. Fuck it. Yeah, creativity is really good. When they banned Lurus, they should have banned all companions, and then they should could have banned something useful today. <laughs> I know, right? I honestly think Lurus wasn't even that big of the problem. I think the problem the whole time was probably Mishra's Bobble. Like, would you guys be that upset if they unbanned Lurus and banned Mishra's Bobble? I don't think I would. I think that's honestly maybe fine. Yeah, I guess Lurus still has, like, problems down the road, potentially, but this thing costs three, right? Four. All right, double the cattle, I guess. Good luck. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's probably still an issue, right? I was asking. I was asking, okay. Yeah, hammer with Lurus too. Yep, that card's still legal too. That card is certainly still legal for play. Cool card. Still big in for a chance. Do I want double green or double red? I guess I just want more blue potentially. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> MH2 kick W. Woo! MH2 block. I love MH2 block. Woo! Doom says as he's just crushing his opponent anyways after getting two for dude. Can't dispute that. Uh, I'm going to shock here. All right, I can just get a basic. Yeah. Because I can just go Nakata hold up hard gas dispute. Mr. Shizniz, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate you, buddy. Hi on this deck, let's get it. Yeah, this deck's sweet. I'm, I've been a big fan of this deck. Still not sure if these Nakatas are actually good. Like, I think maybe there's there's got to be something better we can play, I think, right? This is 11 damage, huh? So I'm one short. You need to find a Bolt, a Ragavan, a Tribal Flames. All those are lethal. Or a Sacred Foundry. I think I'm not supposed to cast it. 
I guess casting it means they can't fetch. Maybe it's worth casting it there. Not sure. Edge could play out a counter spell too. Looks like they have Fury. Okay. Kills one of them. They tap both white though, so they can't binding now. Alright, combat. I'll try and attack you. What you got? Got something for me? Upstairs. What you got? Cool. Game three. Let's go. Doesn't four color only play three to four different cards from MH2? Ending Solitude, Fury, Endurance. Red and six. Well, I, I meant Horizons, not just MH2, but I was I, I lump the, the, they're the same set. Come on. I lump them together. I, I, I meant Horizons, not MH2, but I meant Horizons. The whole point of the pure modern tournament, right? Xander's Lounge, six spells, huh? Nah, I'm good. <clears throat> good with that. Sounds acceptable, I guess. Put back the second binding, I think. It's not great, but... Okay. I have to play... Yeah, let's go Temple Garden, I think. And then I can maybe go turn to fetch Grixis Triumph to play Binding. Mm. Again, we see the awkwardness of Scion plus turn one to Cattle. Uh, that being said, I still think I'm going to fetch, fetch the Grixis Triumph. What do they have? Solid Dude. Okay. It's like kind of fine. Maybe. Especially if they're doing this. This is really good for me, unless they have Spell Pierce. There's no chance they have Spell Pierce, right? Like, no shot they have Spell Pierce in their deck. That was kind of a beating. Oh, look, another Horizons cards. <laughs> another Horizons card, chat. So they play Tef. <clears throat> I probably have to play my own Tef. Ran at six, okay. Play Scion now, Scion Tapland. Stub would be a nice draw. I'm gonna keep the Triumph, I might just cycle it. I ain't got much going on. I think I have to try and pressure the Ren rather than just play Teferi. Did Leyland break modern? I don't know if it necessarily broke modern. It definitely made it definitely made things a lot more homogenized. Because, like, the thing about Leyland Binding is it's so free to put into your deck. Like, every deck already plays fetch lands anyways. And if you're playing any, like, it's just so easy to put a Triumph into your deck and play it for literally free. So it's just like, I really think that this card was kind of a mistake. Okay. I think this card was probably not the best idea to print. It is free. It's Steam Vents, I guess. Not Afghanistan. <laughs> What's the downside? You draw your triumph leading at the cycle anyways. <laughs> seems like a seems like a real big downside. I'm just like remembering why I hate this format so much. And I don't really think the Orion band's gonna change that much, so. Blue green. I guess this can get Grixis. Yeah. Grixis go. Yeah, Grixis breeding pool Kavu. I guess the plane's just kind of awkward because we can't Kavu plus hold up stub. Hmm. Perhaps I'm supposed to get Steam Vents and kill the Channeler now. I feel like that's worse though. Because if I get Steam Vents and play chain and kill the Channeler now and go Breeding Pool Kavu, it's a 3-3, which means they can bolt it, so I think I'm supposed to just get the Grixis Triumph. <clears throat> well, the planes shouldn't be in this deck. I think that that's just poor deck building. But thank you for trolling me. I must think the band was a bit surprising. I don't know if I would say it's surprising, because, like, Yorion's kind of been on the chopping block for a while, but 
Mm-hmm. Grab Crypt. Well, there's two reasons why we can't grab Crypt. One, it's not in our deck, and two, Misty can't fetch Crypt. You just loot away planes, five head. Yeah, see, that's why it's free. I can just loot it away. Right? Tribal Flames. Uh, well... Hmm... I'm wondering if I should attack before playing my planes. Like, I could just discard the planes. Like, I kind of want to have the fifth type anyways. I don't want to discard any of these cards, though. I could just go, like, play planes, attack for five, exile the Mishra's Bauble, and then pass with Stub and Bolt Up. I think I like that better. I think I like that. Yeah, eat the Bauble. Pass. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Chump Block. Okay. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If they feign death, I'll probably just let it resolve and not stub it. Seasoned Pyromancer, maybe? It's gotta be Pyromancer, right? Yeah. Okay, not bad. Can go attack for five. I, I still want to keep all the cards in my hand. So, go attack for five, eat. They have land, two creatures, two sorceries. I guess I go after the the Channeler, probably, in case they have, like, Coligan's Command or something. I think that one matters more than the Ragaban. Here we go. Brawler, hold up Stub. Mm -mm. No, these aren't creatures. Or these aren't, these aren't, these aren't non-creatures, I should say. You're supposed to play non-creatures. It's gonna kill that now. <clears throat> It's 17. Am I okay with them double blocking the brawler? Probably, right? I think that's fine. Even more fine now. Well, I guess it's not because I can't play this Kavu and hold up Stub. They're at 10. Yeah, whatever. I'll go Shields down, Stub. What's the worst that could happen? I guess the worst that could happen is Blood Moon, right? Still have two twos, though. It wouldn't be that bad. What am I afraid of with stub? Just Blood Moon. But if they Blood Moon me, I would still have two. I would still have two twos, which isn't horrible. It's not great, obviously, but. Uh, I think they're going to block with both Pyromancer tokens, so I think keeping the Ragavan's not terrible, but I think my other cards are just so much better. Any replacements for Meat Hook and Stater from Model Black Midrange? I. I have not played a game of Standard in three years, so I, I could not tell you what the replacement for in Standard is. Could not tell you. Uh, hold the land, I guess. To discard next turn, maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to just fire off the Tribal Flames. I will cast Stubborn Denial. <laughs> okay. Alright, Rakdos Scam. I think Rest in Peace is decent against them, right? Especially if he has Channeler. Maybe he's not playing Scam, though. Been off Modern for two plus months. I'm back from my three vacation. I'm ready to run my head into the wall of Modern. Good luck with that, Killer Germ. It's, it's tough out there. Modern's, Modern's in a sketchy spot. Yeah, maybe Rest in Peace is good. It consumes all's bad. I mean, they have Channeler, Ragavan, Pyromancer tokens. This doesn't seem that good. And everything else is pretty awful. So I guess it's just rest in peace. That being said, I don't have a lot that's bad against them. I think Teferi is not ideal. So I can just swap Teferi for a couple rest in pieces, call it a day. Saffron Olive did just 5-0 with mono white tokens. Did he really? Oh no. Mono white tokens. What if what have we come to at this point? What have we come to? Yeah, the free spell's just, it's so rough sometimes. How does Wild Nikaidle square up? Wild Nikaidle's very awkward in this deck because, like, if you're trying to play fully powered Kavus into Shovel Brawls on turn two, it's really, well, specifically, I guess I should say with Scion of Draco, that's where it's awkward. I've had a lot of situations where I have turned, like, I go turn one Nikaidle, and then turn two, I, like, can't play my Scion because I played my Nicodle. You know what I mean? Like, in order to play Scion on turn two, you have to go turn one, fetch a Triumph, turn two, play Shockland. 
Um, speaking of which, I think I have to get a shock land now, so Ragavan doesn't hit it. So I guess I'll get Grixis. And before exiling Temple Garden. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, are they casting it? It's only a 1-3. <laughs> it's an 0-3 now, actually. Is Modern saved? Far from it. <laughs> oh, he didn't play a land, just has a 2 mana 0-3. <laughs> Nice O3 dingo. Alright, I will cast a Territorial Kavu. Two mana O3, by the way. <laughs> Two mana O3, by the way, chat. I'm gonna go attack for five, loot away a land, probably. Rid of the Misty. I'm gonna get a forest anyways. Mine seems better than his. <laughs> Mine's only a little bit better than his. <laughs> oh man. The monkey they had no land. I just block monkey. Why would I care about the monkey? Another channeler beats. Science pretty pog. I think I'm gonna loot the brawler away. Maybe the second stub. Because honestly, if I draw land four, I'll probably just go brawler scion. Yeah, I'll discard second stub. <clears throat> okay. Is a two mana five through trample actually plausible in this format? I mean. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think if you're, like, doing the thing. If your plan is to, if you're, like, in, you know, really set on doing the, uh... Should be like, the spree combat so they couldn't jump block. If you're, set, if you're set on doing the domain thing, if you're already playing, like, Kavu and Scion, then it, it does make sense to play this card. Like, it is, in terms of rate, it is one of the more powerful cards you can play on turn two, so... Kahira... Uh, this is really awkward because Mesa does not get Breeding Pool. So Mesa has to get Temple Garden with this hand, right? Yeah. So I guess I have a 3-3. Three, three. I go turn 1 to Coddle. Turn 2, attack for 3, play 3-3 three, three, Kavu. I think it's still fine. I think so. What do you think of cutting the 1-drop and playing the Cascade Creatures? Well, you can't play the Cascade Creatures with 4 stubs. So you'd, at that point, you'd have to not play the stub, and I think stub is one of the better reasons to play this deck. So then the will play Boros Charm. I think you need it to be a threat, because I think if you're not playing an additional threat, you're a little bit low on threat counts. What I was doing before, I know it's not a threat, but I was playing with mana creatures, so you can go turn one mana creature, turn two fetch a triumph, still play Scion. But again, it's not really a threat. It doesn't, you know, specifically provide pressure in the way that you want it to. What do you like sign over in the moment at Ryan? It, well, so I played Rhinos earlier today, and it did not go very well. Uh, this is the list that I played with Scion. Wasn't a big fan of Scion. This is the list that I think I would ex would suggest moving forward, basically replacing the Scions with Borrowers, and moving the numbers around a little bit, trimming a dead gun for an Endurance to fit room for Endurances in the sideboard. Third Teferi as well. Uh, and then, yeah, the sideboard's pretty good. You know, max out on endurances, disputes, forces, two subtleties, two egos. I think the sideboard's very good, and I think this is about where I'd want to be with the main deck as well. So this is probably what I'd recommend if you want to play Rhinos moving forward, but... Leyline Binding, huh? We are very, very dead. Domri. Which Domri? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I playing Modern again? No, nah, not really. <laughs> Still kind of the same shit. <laughs> I'll probably go back to more Pioneer again tomorrow. It's still kind of the same stuff. And nothing really changed. Chance that at one point after tuning 4-color becomes better than it was back on 80 cards? Maybe? I don't know. I don't play 4-color, so I have no idea. And I don't really plan on learning 4-color anytime soon. Anarchobolus? It's not really a threat, though, you know? It does make it, like... Uncounterable is kind of cool against decks like this, but. Counter my spell. 
<clears throat> Makes the cattle turn on stub too. I guess that is pretty relevant. Giving the cattle a fourth power is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we need to top deck the planes. <laughs> it's free though. Got me on the outside looking in. I can't see it all. Uh, four color stuff. I don't. I don't even know what they're playing. Kind of almost seems like they're. No, I guess they're not playing scape shift. I guess it's just like normal four color. Mm -mm -mm. I should have never let you go. Man, I never did. Yeah, which is kind of weird with like replying to replies. It's very, very weird. I don't know if it's like bugged or something, but when you reply to a reply, it tags the original person who posted it, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's like a bug or something. The only three drop planeswalker you'd want to play in Domain Suit other than Teferi is the Royal Scions. Yeah, because Scions give like, if you don't have a Scion, it gives this Trample, which is pretty big. Scion Tribal. Yeah, I don't know. What's like, what's another good two drop you could play? I mean, I guess then we're just two drop Tribal at that point. Maybe you have to play Nikado just to make it... Like, Nakadal is good in... <laughs> yeah, obviously. Nakadal is good in the games where you don't have Scion. It's, like, not... You know, it's it's kind of fine in those games, but... Okay, so... How should I play this hand? I could get greedy and play turn one Ragaban. So I would go Temple Garden in... No, no, no. Steam Vents into... Indatha. Boif? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to keep this, and I think I'm just going to go put back Breeding Pool, play turn one Ragavan. Punk is not dead. Thank you for the 14 months. Much appreciated. Mm -mm. Red and six is a two drop. True. Sphere mm -mm -mm. Sphere Cult, and thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. I guess if they cast... Well, I can't stub Solitude. I was going to say if they cast, like... Yeah, I don't know what they would even have here. If they had anything, they would have, they would have cast it, obviously. I guess they're just fetching Triome. Oh, we are going to get the stub something. Thank you for waiting. Hit a Wooded Foothills. So we can go Crack for Nakatl, play Mesa Pass. And this gets Abzan. Royal Signs is also pretty fun if you run into Cascade build. Barbating them is pretty pog. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I think stub is way too way too too much of a integral part of the stack where I don't want to cut the stubs. Like, I think the Cascade cards are not bad, but I just think the stubs are too important. Especially against, like, creativity and stuff. Oh, they have Solitude plus thing. Lovely. Lovely. Fun, fun, fun. Am I gonna binding this anyways? <sighs> Maybe I am. I probably am, right? This might be kind of a spew. Willing to believe this is a spew, but. <laughs> You're done venting? Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on venting 24-7. That's all this stream is. <laughs> I mean, it always has been, you know. Now they cast a fairy time raveler. Cool. Cool card. That's biting, kill solitude, or kill cyan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. I'm having a great time. Fun times, huh? Fun times. Your turn. Yeah, Yorian got banned, though. Yeah, Yorian got banned, though, chat. So four colors unplayable, right? <laughs> yeah, it was effective immediately. Sure. Mm -hmm. Obnass, so I can scoop? So I have to trade so I can protect the brawler. I mean, brawler's not bad. Now I can hold the podcast stub, but I probably should have like solitude or something. 
Nothing stopping us from playing 80 cards without Yorion. I mean, what's stopping you is what, like, what are, what's the point of playing Yorion at that point? Right? Surely I can win this game. Surely I can win this game. The hell is this? Oh, they're just trading. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Okay, you know, now you draw an Omnath and I can't win. Pretty good. Pretty good one. I draw. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. Acceptable, I guess. Yeah, somehow this card's still legal. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, definitely, uh, today has reassured me that I still do not want to play this format. <laughs> I will be going, I will be returning to Pioneer tomorrow. Do not worry, Chad. Do not suck it up. My banning packs do. No, they're not free. You have to, well, I mean, they're kind of free. They're free in the, you know what I mean, but. Specifically, Modern Horizons free spells. They're kind of free. Hedron Crab. Hmm... I think I'm supposed to bolt the crab. I know it makes it kind of awkward that I can't play the scion, but... Just go Kavu on 2, Teferi on 3. Okay, I think they might have f 6 Classic skip my turn 2. They probably just have some Modern Horizons 2 or Double Masters packs that they gotta sell first. But once they sell those packs, rest assured, Ren and 6 will get banned at that point. Trust me. Source, I made it the fuck up. They milled the black-white triome? No. Alright, let's do it this way then. Guess I should have attacked first, but... Discard this heinous planes. <laughs> yeah, that's my source, by the way. <laughs> you just have, like, this giant backlog of MH2 and double bound or whatever. What is it Double Masters? I don't even know what set it is. It's like Double Masters 17 reincarnated. Who, who the hell knows? I don't know, man. Whatever Masters set that they just came out with that they that Ren and Six is in. Sure. They gotta spell those packs first. And then we can get rid of Ren. After they've after they've exhausted all of their stock. We need a Doom drinking stream and whenever an opponent plays an MH2 MH1 slash two card drink. Uh, I'd probably last like 30 minutes, right? <laughs> I probably would not last more than 30 minutes at that point. I started saving a lot of money since I watched Doom instead of actually playing. Yeah. You watch me be miserable in the modern format rather than actually play the modern format yourself. Okay, cool. If they ban Red and Six, what will pop up in my hardly playable jank pile? <laughs> what will prop up my hardly playable jank pile? Well, it's, it's your pet deck, so your pet deck's obviously broken. Is Rest in Peace good against Mill? Shuts off Drown, and also shuts off the Ancestral Recall. Eh, kind of want to cut Binding. Let's do this. And Surgical? Yeah, that's true. Stop Surgical, too. I don't know if that's as relevant, but maybe. Playing Ponza in Vegas? I would just play Ponza. I mean, I guess Blood Moon got a lot better against Four Color, because they're gonna not, they're just not going to play Abundant Growth anymore. So that just kind of makes sense. Blood Moon stock definitely rising, for sure. Binding a 6 CMC. What do you want it over to Fairy? I guess that is reasonable. It is a 6 CMC for Tasha's. Fairy's not that good, right? Fairy's kind of mid. Oh, I can just... I always forget when I'm playing against Mill, I can just play more than 60. Yeah, let's just play 64. <laughs> Mill is such an unconventional deck to sideboard against. Canister, I hope you're still here. Not that even if this was a fetch, I wouldn't keep this hand, but... I do hope Canister is still here. Alright, this hand's based. Put back second Tribal Flames, I think. The plane should not be in this deck, for sure. 
it's like I think the planes is in the deck as in an attempt to play blood to play around blood meat a little bit. I know I have the command set to every time somebody types in deck, MTG bot responds with stream decker is probably down, so that when it is actually down, I can say, oh well, stream decker, you know, MTG bot told you. It's like a preemptive thing. Cycle. Messed the link out this way. Uh kind of, but I think I think it ends up being okay. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm just going to play a 5-5 five five here. This planes can't even be properly fetched. I have Aaron Mesas. What are you talking about? I have four Mesas, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. God, Field of Ruin is so good against my deck. <laughs> uh, Field of Ruin, Keck W. They milled over the Temple Garden, so if they kill the Indatha Triome... Oh, God, this is awkward. Yeah, I actually can't really make this... Oh, no, I have, I have both basics, right? So if they feel the Ruin this, I get planes. I'm going to cast the Kavu pre-combat. Because I'm, like, 90% sure they're going to feel the Ruin me. And then I can go Steam Vents, planes, Overgrown Tomb. Still have a 5-5. Five five. Pretty light on lands, yeah. What's this? I want to do it alone. Collins Mullins get a 5-0 with Lutri. Nice. I love the Talarian Terror. The Talarian Terror is a nice one. Uh, I kind of don't want to discard any of the cards in my hand. Maybe the Misty. I think I'm just going to exile my own graveyard. Mm -mm. What's up, Destro? How is modern now that Yo-Yo is gone? I wouldn't necessarily say that they fixed the format. I don't think that's the word that I would use to describe, because uh, I don't really think it changed much, to be honest with you. I don't think much has changed. Mm -mm -mm. They don't want to play anymore. All right, we got a 3-2. Mm, let's open our chest. Me against myself. What do we got? Ooh, a Chrome Box. In a Zayatora's Proving Ground. Uh, I don't know. Deck was fine. I don't know. I, got, I ain't got much. I know we like, we talked about Wild in the Cattle not being awkward, but... Or Wild in the Cattle being awkward, but it is kind of important to have additional one-drops to be able to, you know... You gotta play something on turn one. At least you, you kind of want to, so just having early pressure. It is awkward, but obviously with Scion, but... I don't know. Deck felt fine. Kind of, kind of whatever. Um, I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. What are we at? Five hours? All right. I got some stuff to do tonight, so I think I'm going to call it a stream there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably going to go back to sticking to Pioneer because this didn't really feel any different. So, yeah, we're going to go back to Pioneer tomorrow. Uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you being here. Modern is uh, still kind of in a weird spot. So we'll go back to Pioneer tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm playing tomorrow, but we'll go back to Pioneer. Uh, who are we raiding? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not a man, 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 I'